Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you for being a part of this webinar on lead generation landing page campaigns. In today's webinar, we will be talking about Zoho landing page, the recent addition to Zoho suite of marketing applications and how you can build a robust lead generation landing page using the same. First, I'd like to introduce the panelists for today. I'm Kritika from the marketing team of Zoho landing page. We also have Karthik, the product marketer for Zoho landing page, joining us as a panelist. We will have a Q&A at the end of this webinar, but please feel free to ask questions in the Q&A panel as the session progresses. You can see the housekeeping information on the screen now. This webinar has been pre-recorded to avoid any technical difficulties. If you face any technical issues, please don't hesitate to reach out to us through the chat box. This will be the agenda of this webinar. First, we will begin with the basics. The key differences between websites and landing pages, how landing pages can help streamline your marketing campaigns, what are all the time-tested landing page optimization strategies, the best integrations that can make your lead generation campaigns efficient, and how you can use landing page analytics to optimize your landing pages. Let's get started now. I'd like to start this webinar with a question. Do you remember the time you first created a website for your business? A couple of years ago, suddenly it became mandatory for businesses to have websites. It didn't matter which industry you were in or what products or services you were offering. You just had to have a digital presence. And every other business you know was scurrying to get their business website up and running. And then after some time had passed, it wasn't just enough to have a digital presence. You had to market your brand. Then came the era of social media handles and cost per click advertisements. Marketing campaigns were plastered on search engines, social media handles and every other medium that allowed paid ads. And there was so much talk about bringing in traffic and making people click. Sure, these ads were making people click, but where are you sending all these people? Obviously, it doesn't make sense to send all these people to your website homepage. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against websites. But they always happen to have so much information and navigation links that are of no use to the user who clicked on your ad. The user often ends up getting distracted and bounces away even before getting to know about your offer. This is where a landing page can really help your case. Any user who clicks on your ad only wants two things in the post-click experience. They want to learn only about the offer, product or service that they clicked on and they want clear next steps to subscribe or make a purchase. And this is something that is achievable only through landing pages. So how does Zoho landing page help you in this? Zoho landing page is a no code builder and we really mean it. You can get your landing page up and running without writing a line of code. You can sign up for Zoho landing page now or after the webinar using the link that has been provided in the chat window now. When you sign up for Zoho landing page, you will land in this workspace. Obviously, yours will be empty, but once you start creating landing pages and start seeing the benefit of creating them, you will get here in no time. Once you click on new page, you will be taken to the template gallery where you can view an assortment of templates for various types of landing pages. Each landing page has a specific purpose. The purpose can be anything from lead generation to promoting your upcoming event or launching a new product. There are 100 plus templates in this gallery that are tailored to every marketing goal that businesses can have. For the purpose of this demo, I am going to be creating a landing page for a digital marketing course. Consider that I am running an online academy that offers a lot of courses. Before the commencement of my next digital marketing course, I have planned to run a landing page campaign to generate leads and convert them into registrations for my course. I am going to be selecting this template. Let's go ahead and give this a name. We are now in the landing page builder where you can customize the landing page template according to your goals. Let us give it a good headline to capture the attention of users. 
So let us change it to let's learn digital marketing. Let us now give it a subheading. This section is often referred to as the hero section because this is going to be an important factor in determining whether your users stay or bounce away. So the headline should be clear and focused on the landing page goal. In case you want to change the images, you just have to click on change image and upload an image of your choice or choose one from the stock images available. You may have chosen this template, but what if you want to add a testimonial section to your landing page? Testimonials are a great way to build trust with new users. You can always click on insert here and choose from this huge list of pre-built sections. Let us now go to testimonials and choose a testimonial section to add to our page. Now you just have to edit the images and text. You could add testimonials from clients and alumni here and see your conversions increase significantly. I am not going to be explaining every text feature in Zoho landing page because you will be familiar with most of them. But I want to draw your attention to one unique feature. Landing pages are often created on short deadlines, but writing a conversion friendly landing page copy can be time consuming. With writer's block and short deadlines, Sometimes the words just won't flow. Solopreneurs who are juggling too many roles in their business have it even more hard because they have to manage their business and also market it. In Zoho landing page, we have a solution for this. The Zia content assistant, which is powered by OpenAI. So let's check out how this works. Let us enter some text here. Say, get a digital marketing job. Let us check how we can make this better with the content assistant. You can change the tone, character limit and include keywords here. Just click regenerate once you are done to see the suggestions. Click on a suggestion that will work best for your page and replace the existing text in your page. You might have to repeat this a couple of times to get the right copy for your landing page. But once you get the hang of it, it really helps you save time. Now we have something that almost looks like a real landing page. As you can see, it didn't take a lot of time to put this together. Now that we have the landing page design sorted, let's go ahead with the most important element of any lead generation landing page, the form. We already have a form here, but it's always a good idea to reinstate the idea of the landing page next to the form. You don't want to have a generic headline in your form. So let's change the form headline to something like this. With lead generation landing pages, you never want to have too many fields in your form. If you ask users for too much information, it can deter them from submitting your form. So let's go ahead and take out the website form field here. To edit this form, you just have to click on edit form and delete the unnecessary field here. Now you have to click save. There we have edited the form. In any lead generation landing page, you want to collect all your leads in one place, preferably a CRM. So here you have to click on integrate. This will open the integrations tab where you have multiple Zoho and third party integrations. You have CRM, email marketing, webinar, and marketing integrations available here. For this landing page, I want to have all my leads in Zoho CRM. So I'm going to be integrating this form with Zoho CRM. Let me go ahead and click on Zoho CRM. Now we will select the account and the campaign. I will now map my form fields to the forms in Zoho CRM. You also have the option of adding tags to identify leads 
from a particular landing page. So let's add a tag here saying digital marketing. Now go ahead and click on continue to successfully integrate this form. Now all the landing page leads will end up in my Zoho CRM account. Now we come to an important part in landing page marketing, optimizing your landing pages for conversions. Just because you have created a landing page with a form, users aren't going to magically line up to submit your form. Marketing would be so much easier if that were the case. We won't have to sit around breaking our heads, wondering why the conversion rate is so low. So let us see how we can make this landing page bring in more conversions. Now, I want you to take another look at this form. Do you see what the call to action button says here? It says register now. Sure, this is a user registration landing page. So the CTA register now does make sense. But can we make this even better? We can probably use some text that talks directly to the user in action-oriented language. Benefit-specific CTAs can significantly improve your conversion rate when compared to generic ones such as sign up or register. But can something as small as this affect your conversion rate? You will be surprised to know that it does. Changes in the headline, images, color of the landing page, color of the CTA button can impact how users interact with your landing page. But you don't have to take our word for it. Marketing does not run on assumptions. While making any changes to your landing page, you always have to A-B test the changes before deploying the landing page to your audience. So let us now click on optimize here and select A-B testing to create a new variant. Now you have the original version and the variant. Let us change the call to action here to save my spot. Now when you hit publish, two variants of this landing page will be published. Once you have run your A-B test for a considerable amount of time, you can choose the variant that gets more conversions and deploy it in your marketing campaign. But here is where it gets tricky. Even after you have the right landing page form, the right CTA text in the perfect color, conversions can still be hard to come. This is because a user wants to be personally addressed in the landing page. You don't have a storefront, your users are all online, but it's still possible to give them the exclusive feeling of being personally attended to even in a landing page. Let us click on optimize again. And this time we will be selecting personalization. Here you will be able to customize the audience for each landing page. Say you want to give returning users a different landing page experience when compared to first time visitors. You will be able to create separate experiences for both here. You can narrow down your audience even further with UTM parameters where you can segment your audience with their source website, the search term and medium. In custom audience, you can go even more further with precise targeting. In this era of hyper-personalization, precisely targeted landing pages always have a better chance of converting. Say you want to target a particular geographical region like Australia. But you want to create this experience exclusively for returning users. And even in that, you only want mobile users to land on this landing page. That kind of precise customization is also possible here. Now that we have optimized and personalized our landing page, the conversion should be coming in, right? Ideally, yes. But there is always going to be some user who will still bounce away from your landing page. For them, you just have to catch them at the right time and give them an offer they just can't resist. This is where pop-ups can be employed. Some people have the notion that pop-ups are annoying, but well-timed contextual pop-ups can be very useful in decreasing your bounce rate. So let us add a pop-up to this landing page. Here, you can choose from an assortment of pop-up templates for various marketing goals. You have model, slide-in and banner pop-ups. For the purpose of this landing page, let us choose this template and give it a name. Now we are in the pop-up builder. Let us add a form to this pop-up and give it a good headline to capture the attention of users. Say, 
register now to get 20% off on the course fee. So this will make users to register for the digital marketing course. You can then share the discount promo code to users through mailers. The crucial part about creating pop-ups is configuring the trigger. Let us click on save and in the next section, let us select the exit enter trigger so that this pop-up will be displayed when users are bouncing away from the landing page. You also have the option of integrating this form with your favorite CRM and marketing tools to collect the leads. Now that we have explored all the possibilities for landing page optimization, let's go ahead and publish this page. Let us give the page a name. You also have the option of publishing your landing page using your own custom domain instead of the free fab domain offered by Zoho landing page. Now that the page is published, let us view the page. Just like we configured it, as soon as the user moves the cursor closer to the close button, the pop-up will be triggered. So now let us fill this form and see if the data is pushed to Zoho CRM. We are now in the Zoho CRM account. Here you can see that the lead data is available almost instantaneously without any delay. You can now use this information to nurture leads with marketing campaigns or follow them up with your sales teams. Now let us go back into the builder to view the analytics for this page. Since this page has just been published, I will show you the analytics of another page for better clarity. This is the overall analytics of the landing page where you can view the visitors, visits, conversions, conversion rate and average time. When a lead is converted into a deal in Zoho CRM, you can also view the customer count and revenue in your landing page dashboard here. You will be able to analyze your visitors based on their source, the devices they use and their geographical location. Similarly, you will also be able to view visitors and conversions for pop-ups to analyze if they are working well for your audience. Now we come to an important part of landing page analytics called behavior analytics, where we can clearly see how users are interacting with the landing page, where they are spending more time and where they are not spending time. This is more important because you don't want to have any important information there. You can also see their scrolling behavior with a scroll map and the average time spent in each landing page element with an attention map. If users aren't scrolling till the end of the landing page, but you have a form placed there, obviously your conversion rate is going to be low. So analyzing user behavior can give you great insights for your landing page strategy. Since this is a lead generation landing page, we have to analyze if our form is performing well. In form analytics, you can get a clear picture of how many people start filling the form, how many submit it, and how many abandon it without submitting the form. By analyzing the field level statistics of your users, you will be able to know how users interact with your form and the percentage of filled and blank fields. You can use this information to choose whether to change or remove a form field. If a particular field has a high hesitation time, then you can remove it because it may be affecting your form conversion rate. If you have integrated your landing pages with Google Ads, you will be able to view data such as impressions, clicks, conversions, and cost per click. Additionally, you can also view your total ad spent, revenue, return on investment, and even the customers who converted from this particular landing page campaign. You can also view the top search keywords entered by users and the number of clicks your ad received for each keyword. In the Leads tab, you can view your landing page leads from the landing page form and the pop-up form separately. Landing pages are not exclusive to cost per click campaigns. For seasonal campaigns or landing pages with recurring themes, it is essential to build SEO friendly landing pages that drive organic traffic too. With our built-in SEO insights feature, Users can get detailed insights about the SEO potential of their page and also get suggestions in the form of a checklist to improve their SEO ranking. 
landing page optimization is not a destination it is a continuous process with real time analytics you can keep optimizing and perfecting your landing pages to give the best landing page experience for your customers with this we come to the end of this webinar on lead generation landing pages hope you all found this session to be useful now you can start asking your questions and we are happy to clarify all your queries